Well, I was being lazy the other day. I was watching some TV, and when I booted up the old TV there, why did I, I saw a new version of the Spiderwick Chronicles. It got me thinking about the original Spiderwick Chronicles. Those little goblins that you could see through the little eye hole thing. Uh, I always thought those things were super cool. And I thought it'd be great uh, if we made one. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. So I jumped on the internet uh, to see if I could come up or find some good pictures from the movies or whatever. So of course, Google, Google Images is one of the best places to go uh, to see if I could find some images from the original movie. Some good shots of those, um, those old uh, goblins that were in that. Now see a few of these here, these have like a, oh, that's, they almost look like a frog or a toad or something that's kind of been up and bigger and created this goblin -y thing or whatever, but it's really got a toad look to it and it kind of looks easy. But then I come across this guy. This guy right here. This one. This is the one we want to make. I'm going to do this a little bit different than what you're used to. Yes, we're going to use some mache, but we're going to do a few different things as a tester. Wait, what? What do you mean, tester? You're supposed to show people how to do something, not how to test to see if I can do it. My therapist lied. She said the voices would stop. To start this one out, we're going to need some wire, wire. needle nose pliers, wire. spray foam, spray foam. Balloon, balloon, tape, tape, and hot glue and gun. Hot glue gun and paper mache paste. I said paper mache paste. All right, stop, 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 stop the video. What? Dude, no mache paste, no paper. I mean, what? This is unhinged, right? Let me explain. So instead of doing a standard base with this, where we just wrap newspaper around a uh, wire armature and then, um, you know, strip mache that stuff up as a base, to base this thing out with, we're going to play around with uh, some expandable foam. I've been doing a bit of experimenting with this as a base. Um, pretty happy with it. Now I say I've I've played with this as a base and I have, but this is pushing way beyond the realm that I've already played with. So you get to find out right along with me if I make this happen or if this is just complete failure. Wait a minute. So... You're telling me that you don't even know if what you're filming right now is even going to work? Something like that. To start this thing off, to do the legs, we're going to start off with uh, this wire to create the armature underneath. Wire? What? Wasn't the last time you used wire such a pain in the ass that you had like a breakdown? Right, right. I get it. You're correct, man. So, yes. And isn't that the exact same wire you used when you made that satanic version of the Easter Bunny? Yes, this is the same wire that I used when I did Peter Rottentail. Correct. And so now you just think, ah, I'll just use the same crap again. Didn't you learn anything? Yeah. I think I got a way around this to make it more stable. So just stick with me. All right, so already off camera, I already prepped um, a couple of these um, to be the legs. And yeah, correct, when I did this with Peter Rottentail, this was way too loose. Uh, so anyway, I think I got a fix for that. And we'll see if we can make these just a little bit uh, stronger than they were last time. Okay there, Coaches, you got me. What's your plan? Simple, really. I'm just gonna fold these in half and twist them up again. Sure, sure, just twist them up again, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Clearly, I have no idea what I'm doing here. We're just, uh, we're playing around with this. So these are potentially legs. Got a little bit of water in a bottle here. What in the heck do you need a spray bottle full of water for? It helps us cure. We're going to spray a little on here. We're going to spritz some water on it. We're going to set a little bit of a timer and see if I can handle it just a little bit. The goal is to kind of get it on to the leg, the leg bone here kind of pat it around it. We'll hang it up to see if I can dry because I want to get all the way around this right now. I don't want to spray part of it, wait for it to cure and come back. Um, 
got the wax paper down that way you know I'm going to help lift this once it creates the skin. Um, you know, I don't know. This might fail. This might wind up being a nasty mess, but we're going to find out. Here we go. This isn't rocket science. Spray a little bit of water down first, then applied spray foam, then applied water over top of the spray foam, and set a timer for three to five minutes. Whoa, look at that. You can actually touch that stuff. I I was for sure that this was going to be a total failure. And when you grab that, it was going to be all over your hands. And just a big, huge mess. I'm impressed, though. You can actually move that stuff. Yeah, I was pretty impressed, too. Now that I got a feel for it, it's time to make some body parts. Body parts? Yep. Body parts. Anyway, parts of the booty. We need to make some parts of the booty. So, uh balloon uh basically if we go back and look at this thing right here anytime i look at anything or i try to make anything it's just i see shapes right i mean yeah you see the detail and stuff but i always try to block it into shapes is it a big oval you know are the legs cylinders whatever you know just basic shapes it's the easiest way for me to break down and be able to sculpt something is figure out shapes so the body's kind of oblong looking thing. Um, I think the balloon will work and we're gonna use some tape. I'm gonna kind of squash her flat. So we're going to blow the balloon up and put some foam on it. Oh my goodness, this is a little. What the f what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. There's just something about these balloons. That's kind of a booty shape, a booty, a booty, a body shape. Uh, we're going to cover it with foam. I might have made that too big. I don't know. So let me explain a little bit here. First thing I did was sprayed half that balloon down with some of that spray foam. I set a three to five minute timer and that gave it a skin so you could touch it, flip it over and then applied foam right to the other side, spritzed it all down with water, gave it another three to five minutes so it tacked up and you could touch it without it being sticky and that set her base and it was actually, you know, pretty quick. Now, after looking at that body, it occurred to me that he'd missed leg day. So uh, I hired a professional trainer. Yeah. Put him yeah. in shape. I am Hans. And I am Franz. And we are here to pop you up. Well, okay, we've got, uh, some kind of a some kind of a body shape if you want to call it a body shape we got some potential legs and uh some potential arms <laughs> so arms you call those sticks arms yeah dude yeah um arms arms body you know body? what what you know body? what? You more like an alien egg pod. You started out something like this too a long time ago. What? So <laughs> my mom told me I started from a seed. Okay, now that these legs are pretty decent size, let's talk about uh the plan of attack that I had. Hey, on now wait a minute. This dude. We need to talk about this whole uh you started this way thing uh, that you were saying a minute ago. Well, yeah, okay. Well, you started out just like this, just with a bunch of junk that was laying around the studio here and <clears throat> a little bit of time and patience, and voila, here you are. Right, right. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. You you did it. You you made me. Mom told me, my mama told me that I started out as a seed. Well, I guess you could say it that way. I mean, you were just a little seed of a thought in my head. <laughs> right, seed of a thought in my head. Okay, so the plan. The plan here, really, really, I just, I don't have a plan. With this wire being encased in this foam, oh, it's great. As you can see, you can just take a knife, cut right through this, all the way down to the, to the bone. Idea, seed, Clear that stuff out, and you can head. bend it, put it in the shape. And that means Very he nice. He does, he makes things. Now that I got stuff, legs I basically did. in the shape that I'm, I want, we just need to find a place yeah, to mount them. Uh, really, just kind of I mean, eyeball this, see? lay the legs up so against this thing, trace it out, you know, cut head, away some areas so the leg would fit down means, inside of it. Uh, then to attach the legs, I'm, I'm going to just head? take some spray foam. I must be and I'll in his head. Basically, use it like glue, right? I'm going to put a little bit of foam. On the foam of the Hello? body, I'm going to stick the leg in there and hold Hello? it in place, jam some toothpicks Hello? in that, let it set there, and then spray some other foam on top. But it's actually 
Anybody really here? Really cool. Anybody it's here? a lot of fun. Here? This using the foam like this as a Whoa. as a base to this start your sculptures with. It's actually it's so pretty quick. Here. Well, it's, it's a lot quicker. Let me put it this way: it's a lot quicker than doing the old standard uh, mache base and then moving on because this goes so much faster and it's fun. Pardon the interruption, but what in the heck are you about to do? Dude, I'm just adding the tail. Chill out. Chill out? Dude, you just stuck a wire up his ass and you're telling me to chill out? Dude, seriously, calm down, man. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sure, sure, it's gonna be... Uh, ser seriously, dude, you didn't see anything wrong with that entire scenario, the camera angles, what you were doing, that you're putting it out here on the internet for everybody to see, and you just thought that that whole thing was okay? Uh, yeah. I thought it was okay. <laughs> okay, sure you do. Uh-huh, of course. Oh, what a day. What a day. And I learned today that I'm stuck inside the mind of some psycho. There are often times um, when you're working on a project, especially when you're trying something new, you reach this stage where um, you really wonder if you should keep going on. Uh, we've officially hit that stage uh, with this thing. I'm looking at this right now, and um, I don't know. It, it's looking kind of funky. These are the times when you just need to continue uh, to press on, keep that idea in your head, keep moving, and uh, it should turn out. Well, I hope it turns out. We'll, we'll figure it out here in a little bit. Listen to you being all, trust the process, just keep moving through, you can do it, it's gonna be so good, I believe in you, goody feelings. Where'd those thoughts come from anyway? I didn't see them running around in here. Dude, I'm always like that, man. I know. There's always an ugly stage. You just got to move yourself through it. I've always been that way. Dude, whatever. Don't try to feed me that crap. I know better. I'm in your head, remember? And I know darn well earlier you were looking at that thing wondering if you just made Thanksgiving dinner or some kind of weird version of it. I mean, that thing was looking pretty weird. I'm going to have to admit, he's correct. That was looking pretty strange, and I was really questioning how this thing was going to turn out. But, you know what? I pressed on, and here we are. Pretty much the gist of this process here, uh, using this spray foam, is kind of like a rinse and repeat type of thing. We're using a balloon as a base structure, putting foam on it, spraying it with some water. We're giving it a, a three to five minute timer. That way we can handle it with our hands, squash it around, doesn't stick to us, give it some shape, and then you're ready for the next step. Now, creating the bends and the arms and legs is actually pretty easy. You just cut a couple of reliefs in it real quick. It gives you enough room that you can just bend it around, set it in place, go back on the back side or any gaps you got, fill up the foam, call it good. Dude! <laughs> Dude! Dude! <laughs> oh my God. Get it again. Oh, I can't tell you what this thing looks like. Oh, let me tell you what this thing looks all right, like. All right, all right, calm down. What's it look like? <laughs> Dude! Us. I swear to God, oh, you just made a testicle monster. I mean, I'm serious. <laughs> Look at those wrinkles. It's like, it's, let me, it's like your grandpa's balls popped off and just turned into a monster. I swear, this is what you made. <laughs> you made, you made the first testy monster ever. <laughs> testy monster. <laughs> oh, holy Christ, we have. That's rich. Testy. <laughs> <laughs> really man of all the things that you could have thought this thing looked like that's what you come up with oh you gotta be kidding me okay uh, we need to get back i need to get back to explaining to the folks uh how i made this thing dude i already told you how it was made your grandpa's balls fell off boom monster it's kind of taking shape maybe <laughs> sort of but I want to go ahead, I'm going to put some feet on this thing so I can hopefully uh, kind of stand him up and work on work on him standing up. Went out in the garage, I had some uh, half-inch plywood left over from some other junk. 
and kind of cut these out in some feet shape. We'll uh, put those, I'm going to screw these on the bottom of it, and hopefully this guy's going to, you know, stand on his own. All right, now that this thing's starting to take on some shape. Yeah, it's the shape of a testy monster. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> on more of a serious note, working with the spray foam is actually really nice. It's, it's a pretty forgiving uh, material, right? You can spray things on. You let it tack up for a little bit. You can manipulate it with your hand some, and then it'll dry out pretty fairly quick, as long as you're using water to help, you know, help it set. And then if you don't like what you got going on, you can simply cut into it, spray some more spray foam on there, change it a little bit, a little bit again. You know, you add other pieces like the arms and legs, and you just glue it to itself with with spray foam. And as you can see in this, you can manipulate it and kind of almost sculpt with this stuff. So as a base structure this works really good and really fast to set you up a good solid base to put mache over or mache clay over or, or whatever so when we're, we're talking in the sense of doing paper mache we do around here so much using this as a base is super fast and easy to do now it's time to make some hands. Dude. So using a little bit of cardboard and some of that wire that we had before and some hot glue, Dude. we're going to start hey. off with this Can thing you hear me? and just... Hello? Can you hear me? What, man? I'm trying to explain how I made these hands. Oh, well, hey, sorry. Let me explain it real quick for him then. It's basically the same thing you did before, right? Cardboard, wire, uh, spray foam, boom. Hand. Done. Simple. Okay? Now, let's talk about what I just found, okay? Okay, what? What did you find? Dude, do you realize it's not all just blank and empty in here? I mean, yeah, right. First, first, when I figured this out, I'm running around going like, Hello! 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 hello. hello. You know, there's like empty, Hello! Hello! hello. But then, I, there's this, there's a door, right? I found the, the what, well, I thought it was a door. It looked like a door. There was like this outline, this thing that was there. It was this door. Anyway, uh... Yeah, well, I found it, I went to it, opened it up, and holy... Dude, there's, like, all these boxes of all this stuff that's, like, filed away. I mean, a lot of it's got dust all over, like, it hasn't been used in a super long time. But anyway, dude, there's so much stuff in here, like, years of, like, information and files and whatever. And then there's this box. I found this box, and it was labeled, like, Stupid Shit 2000. It says, do not open. I wonder what that's all about better off for the both of us if you leave that one alone yeah as you can see i'm just taking the clay for right now just basically using the smooth over this texture here i'm pretty much going to put just a layer of this um, over the entire body to kind of smooth everything up and then once i got that kind of going there i'll do more detail thicken things out you know change things so i'm not going to um yeah, I'm not going to film me sitting here just covering the form. We'll come back to this when we're doing something a little more fun. Oh, hey, dude, look. More fun's here. Well, I guess it is. I mean, come on, dude. It looks fun to me. I mean, I always enjoy a good belly rub. Okay, uh, I guess I can relate to that. But honestly, all I'm doing here is adding on more clay, making the belly bigger, and giving this old boy some fat rolls around the side. Because back in the original pictures, this guy had a little, um, chubbiness to him. Dang, that's a thick boy right there. That boy is thick, baby. He is a thick boy. Now he's looking a little plumper, or a little, uh, porky. Uh, huh. I want to move on. I want to get to this face, but uh, we need to deal with the mouth and get some teeth and things in here so I can do the face all together. But before, and I've done, oh, I cannot tell you the amount of times I've actually kind of messed this up and regretted it later on. When you're going to do teeth and things like that inside here and it gets hard to reach in, right now is the time to paint. So we're going to paint the mouth on the inside and then put our teeth in so we don't have to worry about getting back in there later around all those little teeth to get it you know painted up well now that we got a little bit of uh lipstick going on, on this guy i guess we should talk uh you know color theory about how we're gonna paint the the mouth and get that you know mouth colory 
reddish pinkish color whatever the mouth the mouthy color and as far as color theory uh or the plan of attack well it's basically going to be like this we got different shades of red darker and then to pinks and lighter pinks we got we got all these different colors right here right and the theory is we're going to well, basically, we're going to treat this like a four-year-old little girl who just found her mom's lipstick container, holder, deal, whatever. And we're going to do what any, you know, a four-year-old little girl would do that just found all her mom's lipstick. <laughs> we're just going to use all of it. Haphazardly, everywhere, all over the place. In a nutshell, start with your darker colors and then progress to your lighter colors. And you're doing a dry brush technique with all of this. With the mouth all painted up, now we can surgically install some dentures. Whoa, dude. What are you doing? Well, I'm making room. Making room for what? I'm making room for these. Where in the heck did you get those? They're in that drawer over there in that box labeled teeth and claws. I've had them for a long time. You've just had them for a long time. You just have a box of teeth and claws laying around? I mean, is anybody else, any, any of you guys... Just happen to think that that's a little weird. Maybe on the side of a psychopath to just have body parts laying around. I mean, what? Of course, he's got to be. I mean, there has to be some psychopathic tendencies. Um, he's talking to himself. Me, him, us, both. We're just the uh, same. Hello. 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 At this time, I'd like to thank those patrons out there who have continued to support me in this channel, uh, especially this year without me really doing anything at all. You guys are amazing. Yeah, you lazy bum. You're lucky these guys haven't dropped you like a bad habit. I know, man. I'm amazed. And honestly, I wouldn't blame them if they did. But I'm glad they haven't. Anyway, uh, sit back and enjoy the uh, montage of clay work. Hold up, pause this real quick. I just got to let you guys know, these eyes came out of a Guinness can. Yeah, there are these little balls that are in the bottom of a Guinness can when you get it. Um, so when I got Guinness the last time, they came with three monster eyes. <laughs> How cool is that? Dude, got, got so busy, we got so far. He's looking pretty good. I forgot to make the ears. Uh, <laughs> so we need to make ears. Ears and some final details. Hey, we're getting... Close to being done. Okay, so so maybe, now just hear me out. Hear me out here. Maybe the reason you forgot to make the ears was because you were more focused on drinking the beer than you were working on this guy. Hmm? And maybe that's the reason why the camera angle's all screwed up on this right now? I mean, only, only the best camera filming at Unhinged Productions. Right here, folks. So what what exactly are you, are you trying to say? Oh, I'm saying maybe if um, you focus more on making stuff around here and creating things <clears throat> instead of um, gurgling back the old bottle, <laughs> but, uh, you might have put out more videos this year for all these people to see. Maybe. It's an idea. I could be wrong, but just maybe. Maybe we should just focus on finishing up the task at hand. And what's that? Finishing up this goblin? Dude, I gotta admit, this thing's looking pretty sweet. Even if you drank too much, this guy's still, still looking really good. I'm impressed, sir. Very impressed. Nicely done. Although, you really have to do something about these feet. And I got just the thing for that. What the heck are those? Well, these are Carrie's fingernails. What? What do you mean? You got bags of your wife's fingernails? First she had teeth and claws, and now you carry around bags of her Dude, what is wrong with you? No, oh, dude, these aren't her real fingernails. She got some kind of a kit thing with a gel powder deal, whatever, sets it under a UV light, and then these things just pop off later on. I had her keep them because they're going to come in perfect for this. Uh, he's looking pretty cool, right? But there's some things that I want to, you know, address. You can, uh, probably don't really have to do this, 
but there's some things, there's some things here. You know, in in here, further down in down in here, there's there's stuff that I wanted to smooth. Just come here, take a closer look. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Take a closer look. Now you see when we look way down in here, see look at this. This ridge is not very smooth. And we get down here on these feet down in here. We got the same issue. We got some ridging in here, that type of thing. Look at those beautiful toes. And because of those ridges, I mean, probably when I paint it, you probably get away with it and you don't really even know or see uh, that type of stuff. But I know it's there. So I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to fix it with some toilet paper. So basically I'll do kind of a layer of skin over this guy while I'm driving me ready to paint. So, um, I'm just going to do this. I'll see you guys when I talk. Okay, so, uh, now. So it's just over? We're just ending the video like this? No, man. It's just time for paint. Black base, white dry brush. Now we're ready for color. Oh, sweet. So what's your plan for color? Well... I don't have a plan. All right, so I know some of you out there really come to these videos looking for advice or looking to really get a good explanation on how I've done things. Uh, this, this paint, the paint technique I used with this was just uh, wet blending. Uh, started with the belly. I wanted it to have a brown undertone. So I started with darker browns and then went through lighter variations until I got a nice, you know, a lighter highlight at the top of all the higher ridges so it's dark to light that's how i do a lot of my painting dark to light so yeah belly under the chin this type of thing all variations of uh different kinds of browns to lighter browns to tan and then for the skin color <clears throat> i did the same thing but i did it with different variations of gray so darker grays to lighter gray that's pretty much it I also came back and used some of those lighter tans on the palm and the knees to give those a little bit of highlight to bring that underbelly in. Then covered all the teeth in a nice white color, got them all pretty. After got them all prettied up, then come back with some darker browns and yellows to stain them up and give them a little bit of rot, really focus around the gum line to create more of that brown to give that rotty look at the bottom of the teeth. Finally, he's all done. All the paint's done, teeth's done, everything's set up. He's all finished up. I, for one, man, I am super happy with the way he turned out. Uh, I think he looks great. That's just me personally. You guys, you guys can let me know in the comments below how you think he turned out. I mean, if you don't think it's that great, tell me. It doesn't matter to me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hang on just a bit for the big reveal. And until next time, keep making something from nothing.